Yo everyone, it's me Zarko, hopefully doing well, hopefully having a great day as usual. Uh, today, I'll be discussing if you should summon on the Ultra Rising Janemba banner. Uh, it has been out for a week, and after, like, personally, me using him for a week, I think this is, like, the best time for me to discuss if you guys should summon on him, yes or no. Um, a lot of people are still asking me if they should summon, so I feel like this video will be quite helpful for those people, and also for other people that haven't, um, you know, determined if they should summon. So, without further ado, I'm going to go through two pros and two cons, and then I'll give my final thoughts on if you should summon on this banner. So, without further ado, let's go straight in. Alright, people, with pro number one, uh, very straightforward, I'm not going to lie. So, with Janemba being a ultra unit, uh, with all ultra units, if you have them under the leader slot, they basically get a ton of buffs just to support themselves. And also, as they are under the leader slot, they are also getting the abilities from everyone else on the bench and also in the top tier of the bench uh, to, you know, boost him up. So basically, he can fit in any team you want. So I'm just going to swipe right here. I've literally got like three different teams. Very similar low-key, apart from this one. But basically, you can fit him in, in any tag, any team, and he's chilling. Like, there's no stress like to fit him in on a certain team. Uh, like, I don't know. You don't have to fit him in under powerful opponents, and you don't have to fit him in under Saga Summer Movies, for example. Like, he can literally fit in Future, Saiyans, lineage of evil uh song family any like he's chilling like there's literally no stress to fit him in any team so with that kept in mind because of his strong kit as well he's literally providing two blues uh his unique gauge is so strong just to like break someone's combo and people are just going to be constantly worrying about his unique gauge in game uh because i have been using him for a week and that's what most people like kind of fear like are popping his unique gauge which basically makes a lot of people just scared of the way you know you're going to attack so Basically, he's a strong kit and he can fit in any team. That is a strong pro, I'm not going to lie. And that's going to be the strongest pro of the day. But we're going to move on to the next one. All right, people. So pro number two on why you should summon on the Ultra Janemba banner. All right, basically, guys, if you have regens, and I'm talking specifically, you have this purple cell, um, you have this Ultra Kid Boo unit, and I don't know, maybe you have uh, Android 17 MVP uh, Legends Limited as well. If you got two out of three of those three units that I just named, go ahead and summon on Janemba. You know what? Just go and summon on Janemba right now because, oh my goodness, I played against these teams this past week and it is so annoying and it is so strong. Cell, the way he just blows up and just does, what, 50% of your health? Yeah, that's it. That's your 50% of your health done. Uh, Kid Boo, no words on Kid Boo. So, so strong. The only problem with Kid Buu was he just got overshadowed by, um, you know, uh, Vegito Blue. Uh, Vegito Blue came out, a red unit obviously, overshadows a yellow unit. Happens every time. But now, Regen is back. I'm not gonna lie, Regen is top two, top one maybe. I would literally, oh my god, if Ultra Kid Buu came out, I'm summoning for Kid Buu. I'm using Regens. I'm a Regen till I die. But because I don't have him, then I wouldn't have summoned him if I... I would not summon on Janemba, basically, if I didn't have Kid Buu. But I did anyway, because I want to do content. Like, I just want to have some fun. But, if you've got Kid Buu, and you have Purple Cell, please, please, just have a deep think. And I actually think it's worth you summoning on Janemba. Such an annoying team. All those kits combined into one team. So, so, so strong. Like, the health recovery is crazy. And the damage output. So, take that into consideration. If you got those units, as I listed... So MVP 17, uh, Ultra Kid Buu, and Purple um, LL Cell. Go ahead and have a deep thought about summoning on Ultra Janemba. That is pro number two done. Okay, okay. We are in the cons section of the video. So Janemba's banner. Let's have a little look. I already know it because I did 45k CC on it. But it is absolutely atrocious. The way they didn't put MVP 17 into this banner is actually a scam. Um, <laughs> there's literally nothing you can use in the, in the banner right now that is cookable. Like, and I'm, I'm sorry, like, there's nothing in this banner that you can cook with. Like, like Broly, like, the blue one, like, if they release a Zenkai for him, then yeah. Like, Kid Boo, don't even make me laugh. Perfect uh, sell. I'm gonna giggle. Oh my days, don't even get me started on Piccolo, but bro, look at this list, man. Just like all Ultra banners, the banner inside it, apart from the Ultra, is garbage. I beg they update it in the new ones, but they probably won't. 
they just love putting trash in these banners so this means so all right the janemba banner the ultra rate is already low like it's so goddamn low already plus the step ups you are literally getting nothing you are literally getting bread you're literally getting dog food you're getting breadcrumbs that's how bad it is you're getting you're getting these legends ticket and you're only getting 10 oh my god you need a thousand of these tickets to to get slot races a thousand to get like what like 10 slot races 20 it's actually a joke and then obviously a thousand you can get like 600 z power on like a ll unit but it's not even the whole ll unit list my god that's like a small rant but basically if you're only if you're only going for this banner just to get janemba then that's it there's no other incentive to get this banner like the unit inside it is terrible not even worth using that's it they're only going for the ultra janemba and you don't get ultra janemba i will feel sorry for you i will feel sick for you i felt sick myself huge con just like all ultra banners there's like a pattern here like the actual units inside the banner are terrible so that is con number one i apologize for the rant but it is actually atrocious all right con number two again we have like a similar pattern with the cons legends fest guys Woo! legends fest uh what under a month now pretty pretty hyped pretty hyped um yeah guys legends fest look at my cc yeah it's a joke but basically legends fest under a month uh if you haven't got a huge amount of cc uh you're free to play uh you don't um specify under pro number two which i uh, noted earlier in the video where you haven't got any of those regen units that i noted just avoid this banner just skip it i know he looks cool i know he, he seems fun to play i do hype him up in every single showcase video i've done this week because he is fun to play uh don't summon on him please don't summon on him save your cc it is so valuable right now i am having a tough time grinding cc i've only gone up about 5k from this week which is not enough i need to keep going but please guys if you're free to play don't have any of those units that i included on pro number two don't summon on janemba it is not worth it i know he looks cool and everything but don't do it save your cc you will thank me in the future for sure but yeah guys that is con number two all right people so you have clicked on this video for my thoughts and my conclusion on if you should summon on the ultra rising janemba banner right basically i don't think you should summon on the janemba banner literally like after me my personal experience using him for a week and also me spending forty-five thousand chrono crystals to get him my god don't summon on him i know some people have got lucky and used about only 2k up to 10k and you got him congrats but a lot of people for the majority you're not gonna get him man you're not gonna get him on the under 10k it's so so rare like props to you if you have but like congrats honestly congrats i'm genuinely happy for you but after my shaft, my personal shaft, I've never been shafted that hard. Oh my god, I, like if I'm free to play, I at least have no CC for Legends first. So, with that taken into consideration, and after using him for a week, he is strong, he is very good, he's top 3 units. But you can counter him, you can, uh, he's not that hard. Just, my main tip is if you're playing against Janemba, just pop his unique gauge at the start, like near the start, you just need to pop it, don't be scared, just pop it. And then you don't need to worry about it for the entire game, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, there are some games where you drag it on. If they have regen, the game drags on. And obviously, it's gonna you're gonna have to repop it again. But he can't blue you again. He can't blue card you again. So, he's not the hardest to counter. Like, he's not, you know, crazy, crazy good. But he is top three, top four. He is definitely top four for me. He is fun, yes. But if you're free to play and also if you don't have any of those region uh, units i noted in pro number two do not summon on ultra janemba it's very tempting and if you do decide to summon on him and you do get him congrats he's fun to play he's great but the next ultra that's going to come out is going to be way better and it's going to be gogeta probably everyone has saiyans everyone has fusions my god it's an ultra unit you can put him in the leader slot and he'll still cook look at uh look at uvb uvb still cooking People are saying, oh, oh, Janemba's here. He's not going to cook. Bro, man still cooks. He still cooks. UVB still cooks. So that is my conclusion. I would not summon on Ultra Rising Janemba, but it's very close. Competitive over uh, should you summons I've done. This one was very close. Like it's about 60-40 for me. Like it's that close. But no, you should not summon on Ultra Rising Janemba. Definitely not. Just because at this stage of the game, this period, 
However, in the future, if this banner comes back and I do a like revisit on this banner, I'm probably gonna say yes, you should summon it just because of the time frame and where we're at on the you know the calendar. But right now, because Legend Vest is under a month as of me recording this video, save your CC, you will thank me, and I will thank you. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, that is it for my should you summon yes or no. I tried to keep it concise. I didn't, you know, drag it on or anything. I just want to go straight from my head to the video. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a like. If you haven't already, subscribed already. And also, thank you for all the continuous support. I really appreciate you, honestly. So thank you, guys. Hopefully you'll take care. And I'll see people tomorrow. Uh, peace out, guys. Thank you.